In Phantom Forces, there is a little known gun called the Micro Uzi. It's in the machine pistol category, it's unlocked at rank 68, and while it's a little bit slept on, it's one of the lesser used options in the game, which is a very nice kind way of saying it's bad. However, even more niche is a conversion unique to this gun specifically called Strike 3, which sounds like something your teacher says to you before flipping your card to red and giving you a phone call home in front of the whole class. I, I still haven't dealt with that emotionally. But, much like the name implies, it strikes three times. Not in a three round burst way, but more of a uh, shotgun kind of way. And oh yes, it has spread. Like a nice warm square of butter over some freshly pressed browned homemade pancakes right off the cast iron skillet. Yeah, it has spread like that. And by that, I mean that it's a mess that goes everywhere because I have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely one of the conversions of all time. Damage wise, it has some actual decent figures, being able to do upwards of 52.1 headshot damage point blank. That is, if you can hit all the shots in one spot, of course. But on their own, each of the three shots does a maximum damage of 17 and a minimum of 8 damage. Speaking of which, that damage starts dropping off very quickly after about 15 studs. With a 1200 fire rate, your damage goes fast and can hit very hard at close range. Not too dissimilar to the hit of a lifted Ford F-350 real American all diesel American driver in Oklahoma when he sees a libtard Tesla in the opposing lane. Luckily, unlike its relative, the Scorpion with Rat Shot, which is pretty much the same concept as Strike 3, and only has a magazine capacity of 10, the Strike 3 on the Micro Uzi has a 20 plus 1 capacity, which of course you're going to need every single round of, but we'll get to that later. It's a unique conversion on a niche gun that gives a bit more choice and playstyle, and I'm always cool with that. However, with a kill requirement of 2,350, you're going to be spending a nice little amount of credits or a chunk of your ever-shortening lifespan grinding to use this. So, is it all worth it? Let's find out. If you're enjoying the video so far, by the way, make sure to subscribe and like the video. It helps boost me in the algorithm and, and keeps me fed and keeps me motivated to making these videos. So, so that, that'd be appreciated. All right, let's get this over with. So I've got pretty much with me here like a random setup on my micro Uzi, nothing in particular, but it does have a lot of rotational recoil. So I slapped on an X ring, as you can see there. Not that that's gonna fix much though, because as you can see, uh, it's just nonsense. If I just come over here to like a random wall and I just aim here and I shoot, you get one there, one there, one there. If I shoot again, or if I just spray, you can see that that entire wall right there is completely, hold on, is completely peppered. Even from a couple of feet away like this, nightmare fuel. So while the damage figures aren't that bad and fire rate is extremely high, you have to be literally within smacking distance to be able to do anything and oh my god. It can still do okay. I mean, I've only played with it a little bit. I only have maybe a couple dozen kills on it. <laughs> it's apparently ideal against players who are AFK. What I could probably do too is just sit in a corner like this, very close quarters here, and just wait. Nobody showed up. I do love how this gun looks though, the way that you kind of like two hand hold the grip and the way that you run with it, how it kind of tilts up. I don't know why, the animations for this are pretty cool. <gasps> we got a couple little dudes right here. There's one. Hmm, two. Can I perhaps get three? I cannot. Well, what? Where did you come from? I don't. <laughs> these people just appear out of nowhere. How, dude? Dude, how? How? Hello? Does my gun exist? Is anything real? Oh man, I'm not. I don't understand. And then look, and then I do that, and I could just freaking shred. I don't. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna assume that something that fires with uh, with spread like this is very inconsistent. So. <laughs> I can't be too angry. Hmm, but knob cheese is definitely trying to change that. <laughs> no, stop, leave me alone, leave me alone, please. I'm just trying to walk here. Amogus No 3. The names in the server are uh, very questionable. <sighs> and so is my will to live, apparently, after five seconds of trying to use this thing. Why? 39 damage, why? 15 studs probably is like, I would assume from like here to there. So literally from this distance, damage is already dropping off. Fantastic. I'm just, I'm just so happy. Like, the happiness is endless whenever I'm using this. Nope, 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 nope. I have too much ammo. That's like one of the few redeeming qualities about this is the fact that you have 21 rounds at your disposal. So even if you miss like a couple of your shots, it's not a huge deal. You don't have to like panic reload like you do with something like the, uh, the scorpion with rat shot. How? How is that a headshot? I don't understand. It's little things like that that just make this thing so weird to try and use. I mean, it, it's definitely unique though, That that's that's for sure. I think whenever they were adding this to the game, they should have done a little bit more thinking of, instead of what cool thing can we add, it should have been, why should we add this? The minimap saves the day again. Don't get me wrong, sometimes I feel like we're lacking a little bit in the shotgun department in terms of variety. 
comparatively speaking to the other categories. But like we have, we have a shotgun type of thing of this. Like, where is it? Uh, you. I mean, it's like nowhere near the fire rate but it has eight pellets and you can do one of these with it. And this is just kind of a tiny version of that. You know what? I want to compare this actually. I keep bringing up comparisons between the Rad Shot Scorpion and the Strike 3 on the Mini Uzi. I'm sorry, Micro Uzi. To be fair, they are doubling the damage of the Rad Shot on the Scorpion soon. So take this with a grain of salt. This is just in its current state. 17 damage with three pellets. 8.5 with 5. The Scorpion already does less damage. At a distance 2, the Scorpion does less damage. It also has less fire rate, less ammo capacity. In its current state, seemingly this is worse. However, the spread is much closer together. So even though this has half the damage that it's going to in the near future, between recoil control and other factors, it's just kind of better. But okay, back to the reason that I'm gonna have a sad day. <laughs> I can tell you right away though that the Micro Uzi where this is going to be better than the Scorpion with Rat Shot is 100% point blank. Also, who voted for for industry who who does that bunch of bunch of insane people uh, that, that's who does it i just i don't get it who goes from playing bizarre to industry like why Ooh, yes okay 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 i'm loving the magazine capacity that is like the only redeeming quality of this because besides that it, it would be extremely difficult to be able to get any kills with this i'm starting to understand excuse me i'm talking over pop man, more like over poop man. Yeah, that'll show him. Yeah, I'm a mature, normal functioning member of society and there's nothing wrong with me at all. Oh. <laughs> I like how I turn to face the one single man and not the five people that are waiting for me. Hi, goodbye. I'm gonna go kill all of your friends over there now. And we just keep on moving. I wonder if they're still, yep, they're still over there. There's another one, there's another one. There's another one. Okay, I'm starting to really like this. <laughs> Quad feed. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a there's a Squidward impression for you. Oh yes, there is. <laughs> SpongeBob, my quad feed was not epic. Okay, the more that I kind of like get used to this, stuff like this I, I need to take a second, but like the more that I actually get used to this, the more that I'm like wondering why I just walked into two people. But also, I'm also starting to love this. Ha, <laughs> joke's on you, I'm gonna make a left turn and save my teammate from the enemies. God dang, dude. I hear so many footsteps. Look at that, no damage. He's just running. It's like whenever you hit a bug with bug spray. Oh, oh, except the bug doesn't typically mow you down with a vector after you spray it. Oh, what a world we live in. I hear him. Hi, <laughs> yes sir. Yes, I hear your big loud feet. Uh, okay. I say a lot how I'm like impressed with stuff, but I'm honestly not that impressed with this. It's good CQC, but there's a lot of other options that do just as much for like a lot less. Especially considering that like for the attachments that I have, you're probably going to be spending thousands of credits if you really wanted to use this like the way that I'm using it. It's just really not great in that aspect. <laughs> Will it annoy people? Probably. It's annoying me at the very least. And I don't doubt that if you're actually decent with this kind of thing, shredding a server would make people violently angry. So if that's your goal, man, I mean, go for it, dude. As long as you're not hurting people because then it's not fun anymore and it's, it's, it's just bad. Yeah, don't, don't do that. I'm already almost out of ammo. How much ammo does this have in reserve? I never looked at that. I guess we'll find out if they're ever able to kill me. I'm, I'm, I'm basically out of ammo. You get, oh, that's not the right gun. You get 60 rounds. So you get three reserve mags and one that's already in your gun. So you get four magazines total, which is a, a good bit for a secondary. I mean, you're not really supposed to main this, so. But hey, it functions. It works, I guess. Do I think the stock mini Uzi is worth it? I mean, if you're like a Thompson 1919 conversion kind of guy, you know, you think that the M231 is silly, which it is, and you really like super high fire rate guns, not really caring much about accuracy or anything like that, I'd say go for it. Now, is the Strike 3 conversion in particular worth it? Personally, I'd say no. It's a very, very niche thing, and you really have to be like wanting to specifically use it for it to be viable. Otherwise, you can literally get a better experience by choosing, like, anything else in the game. Okay, maybe not this, um, maybe, maybe not this SDG44, though. I'm actually doing it. I'm having, I'm having fun with the stock mini Uzi. I can't believe myself. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something new, make sure to subscribe. Become a channel member for dollar a month, whatever. I got new merch. You can check that out. Link below, too. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. It's nice and comfortable. I still got, like, Roblox merch, whatever else. You know, just do whatever you want. Uh, Discord server, link below. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. What if I see candy? <laughs> How? <laughs>
Meow, 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 meow,